So we've been talking about cut straight. Now let's get to the important part, sew straight. You're used to having a foot like this on your sewing machine, a quarter inch piecing foot or whatever number one foot that you have. What I want you to do is take that foot off. Instead of using this part as your guide, which is way too much work, we're gonna take that and put our stitch in the ditch foot on here. This foot, when I widen this open, you can see this is gonna give me more seam allowance here. My seam allowance by tightening up my screw from here where my bar is to almost here is almost an inch. When I tighten this up from my bar to this edge is a quarter of an inch. So let's place this on. We're gonna line this up with that bar and snap that on. So how do we learn to use this foot? I've got two videos on YouTube, using the foot as a quarter inch piecing foot and using the foot for double needle top stitching that are gonna show you in more detail of what I'm doing here. But for now, I just want you to see how this foot works as a guide. This part right here is my guide and I'm gonna take just a piece of an old uh, placemat that I have. So something that's a little bit quilted. When I place this down from here to here, my needle, whatever that seam allowance is, when I've tightened that, I don't care about that. The foot, once I set my seam allowance, this foot is gonna keep me sewing straight. My job is to keep the fabric up and to pay attention to right here. When I pay attention to this and I start sewing, I'm gonna change my stitch length so it's not quite so short. When I go to sew, I lift that fabric up and as I sew, that fabric goes right along the edge. Right along here is what I'm watching for. I don't need to watch the needle. I wanna watch here. Now the cool thing about this is as you get comfortable with this foot, you're gonna feel the fabric along the edge of the foot. So when you've been sewing and sewing and you're tired and you can't see straight, you'll still be able to sew straight. Go watch those other two videos and I'll teach you more about learning to use this foot as a seam guide. Let's take a closer look though at the foot.